Hi, uh, this is Emily. I'm going to uh, do a recipe on the soup, pumpkin soup. And uh, I already prepared everything. You'll need butter, like about one tablespoon. Ginger, maybe about one tablespoon of ginger, but there's just sliced ginger that I already prepared before. Onions. Uh, I think it's about one big onion or two small onions. And of course, um, the pumpkin. Oops, I think we have a visitor. Hello, Coca-Cola. Hello, Coca-Cola. Come here. Come here. No, not, not this time, huh? Anyway, the pumpkin. So, let's start. I'm going to heat this up. Very simple. A big, big pot. Uh, you put olive oil. Um, maybe about one tablespoon of olive oil. Like that. And then you add the butter. And the, the secret of soups, any soup with any vegetables, is, um, is actually cooking the onions in the butter and the, um, um, the uh, olive oil. Because the, the onions gives it a lot of flavor. The onions and the butter gives it the nice flavor. And um, actually, you don't even need to put cream in the soup afterwards because the butter is like cream. So uh, it gives it a lot of flavor. So you cook that really well, like so. You heat it up, you cook it really well. You stir around. And the, the, the onions, you don't have to chop because they're going to all mix it together afterwards. So. You do that, you cook the onions until they're nice and, and brown and translucent. And put up the heat a little bit, like so. And while, I'm, while, uh, while that's cooking, I'm just going to go ahead and cut an apple. I always put an apple in any soup because it gives it a little sweetness naturally and it's really nice. Um, when you have um, like squash or pumpkin that maybe isn't too sweet or anything, it, it's forgiving. So it always uh, gives it a really nice flavor, and naturally. So um, this is about 700 grams of um, pumpkin that I cut with the skin. The skin is nice because it gives a lot, there's a lot of nutrients in the skin. It's a shame to uh, uh, take it away, well, take it off, and it's easier to cut as well. So um, I do it with the skin. But you need, to, you need a good blender to blend it really well because if you need the skin, um, if you have just, uh, I have a hand mixer as well that you can plunge in and you can mix it. It needs a little bit, that doesn't bother you, then you're fine. But otherwise, I, I'm going to show you afterwards because I already cooked it another batch before. And I'll show you uh, the blender and the mixer to show you the difference between the two. Uh, which one uh, works, how it looks. And of course, the blender makes it nice and smooth and really cream and creamy. I don't like cream, but it makes it creamy. Um, the flavor is really good. It blends it all together. So I cut the apple. You don't need to cut it small, and you stick the the, uh, the core off. And I have a little bin for all my uh, compost. I do outside. I do a compost outside. It's great for uh, my garden and a little vegetable garden. So uh, you just do that, just get the inside out. And you can use basically any apples. You can, uh, you can do Pink Lady, this is Pink Lady, but you can do any apple, uh, your favorite apple. Something, something not, 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 Granny is a little bit too sour. So try to, try to fix apples that are sweet. So okay, apples are done. You don't have to really make them tiny, because you're gonna blend them all in together. So then, so there we have the onions. Like that. That's the pink ones. It smells really nice. So, you have the onions. I'm going to get some water because you need at least, for this recipe, this is 700 grams and that's for about uh, four, for four people. If you want, you have more people, you want to double it. Um, I'm going to put um, about four cups. So, one cup per person. Four cups. I'm cheating because usually I, I use chicken broth. Chicken broth is really good. It uh, gives it, well, every time I have leftover uh, bones from the chicken, that you have a nice meal, you have chicken and all, all that, just the bones, and you just 
splash it in water and make a broth out of it. I always do that and you freeze it, but I'm all out of chicken broth. So I'm cheating now, I'm just using a chicken cube. So I'm gonna put water, let me get some water. So this has, uh, it's about, what, five minutes for it to cook, and then you add the plunge water in. You'll hear the noise. There. Um, I'm gonna, this, I have a, I have a, this is called a, well, a pressure cooker. It's a cocotte minute uh, in French. A pressure cooker. And I already cooked half a batch there. This is a, 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 an entire pumpkin. Uh, about 1.5 kilos. So I got seven, 700 grams there and there's 700 grams there. So that way I can show you right away. So I can't, it's much faster if you cook it in the, um, in the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker takes, you heat it up, you, when you hear the thing starts sifting here, yeah, that just, uh, when it starts to sifle, um, you, uh, you don't need, to, you can turn down the heat a little bit, but just let it cook for about 10 minutes and then just turn off the heat and just let it sit. That's what I did. I just did this maybe half an hour uh, ago. So you add the chicken, the chicken broth, the chicken, uh, and uh, you put the ginger. In ginger, you don't need to slice tiny because you're gonna mix it all together. You put the um, the pumpkin there, and that's what you would do in this machine. If you don't have um, a pressure cooker, you can cook it like this this way, no problem. But it will just take longer. That's all. It will just take maybe not 10 minutes, uh, 10 or 15 minutes, it'll take twice, half an hour, half an hour, even 40 minutes, and you let it boil. So there, that's done. See, it's all in there, as you can see. Um, just to show you, I'm gonna cook it in there afterwards. I'm gonna turn off the heat, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, when it's cooked. You have to be careful, you have to make sure there's no more pressure. You always take this off before, uh, and then you let the air out. There, there was no pressure at all, because I had it sitting there for, for maybe half an hour. So, here's what it looks like. And, I, and the, the pumpkin's cut um, really big. So, there's, there's exactly uh, four cups of water in there. So, I'm going to put half in the blender. And the other half, I'm gonna mix it with a hand blender. So, you get the hand blender. Okay, here's the hand blender. And I'll show you the difference. But maybe because of the cooking in the uh, pressure cooker, maybe the, the skin is really soft and I'll probably get a good consistency. Okay, let me get the blender. Back, here's the blender. So, I'm going to scoop it in. Okay, I have to make sure I'm not taking too too long. Okay, I'm going to scoop it in. Scoop in half. And try to get a little, try to, to, to make a half a width. So there, about, that's about half. And I'm going to go blend it. Just put it on the blender. It's going to be a little bit noisy, sorry. Squash, squash courgette in French. 
squash, uh, what else? Mushroom. Mushroom is really good too. But, and all those uh, tomatoes, any, any soft uh, vegetables like that, it's really good. So I just rinse it, it's easy, and I just put it away. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to take the blender one. Maybe it's a little thick because it's not a lot of water. I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh. Mm, that looks really good right there. Okay, I'm going to pour it in so you can see the difference. Okay, let me get this. Uh, all right. Okay. So, that's the blender. And maybe if you want, if it's too thick, you can always add water. That's not a problem. Uh, add water, add salt. Um, this is the base. You can do whatever you want. You can even put lemongrass. You can put any, anything you want to put it. And, um... Now for this one, to see the difference, well this is a little bit more liquid because, uh, but actually I don't, see, I don't see a lot of lumps. Look, actually they look pretty much the same. There's very little lumps. I'm going to try, tell you if it's good or not. Hmm, looks good. Oh, my hair's falling down. Yum. Yum. Maybe a little bit more salt. Sorry about my hair. Okay, well, it was great. Thank you, and uh, I'll do another one soon. Bye.